previously on My Merry Messy Life. Hey everybody, welcome to Munich! Light up every moment, make my every dream come true. Oh, I can't describe it, took my tongue and tied it, sent my heart over the moon. It comes fly away with me, imagine all the things. That we could see Yeah, don't you know that life's a dance Come take my hand And fly away with me So we got Rinder Braten uh, I got a Braten when we had our uh, anniversary in Reitenwinkel. So definitely, I would say so far, Hirschgarten, Hirschgarten is our favorite. Our kids are having a lot of fun. Of all the places, every day is something new. This is awesome. Don't ask we fight. <laughs> Where are we going, Grayson? We're on the train and we're going to Marienplatz to a, a, an American restaurant at a Halloween party. Yes. Yes, I brought a zombie costume with it and it's super beautiful. Yes. So if you see some kind of weird blue zombie with jaws Red. that hang out to here. No, it looks blue. Uh, oh. That's me. We are in Marienplatz. Welcome everybody. We are here in the central Munich. Um, my personal favorite part of Marienplatz are these little statues of the Cupids fighting like a dragon and a lion and a snake and some sort of chicken thing. I don't know, I think they're really cool. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and we have this square to ourselves because it's early it's on a Sunday morning. Early Sunday Who morning. Who would be here? It's a beautiful day and it's cool to be here and show the kids. Yeah. There's um, little sculptures of of like night like little swordsmen fighting different animals. Oh, very cool. And one of them is a, fighting a lion, a snake, a a chicken, <laughs> a chicken. Yeah, and a dragon. So your favorite part of Marienplatz are the pigeons. Yeah, yeah! Are there any
Ich habe mir die Zeit immer so. Wenn mich jemand fragt, wie alt das ist, ich bin immer, äh? Mhm. Und Monsterbacke kann sogar reden. Mhm.
So as you can see, we are in the English Yard Garden. This is absolutely beautiful. We, the last time Kevin and I came here, we actually never went to the garden. So we're really excited to be here. But of course, we're seeing the kids version of this garden. We are in a Spielplatz within the garden. I don't know how many there are in the English Yard Garden, but this is a very nice one. And oh my gosh, it's so beautiful here with the fall leaves and the playgrounds, you know, big and spread out. So there's a lot to do. And being here in Munich with the fall leaves is breathtaking. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So this morning at the Hard Rock Cafe, the Halloween party we had was so much fun. The kids had an absolute blast. I hope you enjoyed the footage you saw from that. Uh, we had so much fun. The magic show, the food was really good. I heard so many American English accents. So that was really cool because, you know, it, you can start to feel homesick when you're really far from your country. And it was really nice to get to hear some American English and be around other Americans. Um, and we do want to point out, we know that Halloween is not celebrated here in Germany. And I think All Souls Day is better. I mean, it's very, it's such a sacred, beautiful holiday uh, for Americans. You know, that is the day, the day after Halloween on November 1st, most Catholic based countries like in Europe celebrate All Souls Day, where the families visit the graves of, the, of their loved ones and leave flowers and plants and and things like that. So guys, let us know in the comments below, how do you celebrate or how do you honor All Souls Day? Uh, I do know that Halloween is a total bastardization of All Souls Day. So um, I get it. I get why it can be sort of seen as a ooh, holiday. But for the kids, I mean, this is a tradition we've been doing since me and Kevin were kids. And um, it's hard to turn down because it's so much fun to put on costumes and get candy. It is such a fun holiday for Americans. And of course, we know we have Fasching to look forward to in February. Isn't it in February? I believe it's February. We have Fasching to look forward to where we can get dressed up. And that's when you guys have your holiday where you get dressed up and, and have candy and things. So that'll be fun. But yeah, we know Halloween is not celebrated here, so it was really nice to, we got an invitation from the Hard Rock Cafe. They saw our Instagram account and wanted to invite us to their Halloween party. Um, so I wanna give a big thank you to Hard Rock Cafe for inviting us and, and for treating us to such a delicious breakfast and magic show and making our Halloween special, our first Halloween outside of the US special for our children. And yeah, so if you are in the Munich area or any major city uh, and you're American, perhaps visit the Hard Rock Cafe. You get a little slice of home while you're there, which is nice. All right, so we're not sure what we're gonna be doing the rest of the day. The kids are tired. When we come to visit cities like Munich, you know, we went to Trier, we've been to Berg Elt, we've been to Kochum. Um, we always end up doing way less than we think we'll be able to. The kids get tired out quickly. They get bored of seeing old buildings. They call them old buildings. They get bored of seeing old buildings and museums. They want to play and be kids and have fun. So we do a little bit for me and Kevin, like visiting the museum of the, the Schloss Nymphenburg. That's for me and Kevin. Uh, we were only in there for like 20 or 30 minutes, so it wasn't very long. And then we go to the souvenir shop, and that's how we make trips, traveling with kids fun, because they're not gonna want to go to museum after museum. They're not gonna see this, want to see the same things that us as adults want to see. So we try and give the kids a little, you know, something to make it fun for them, and something to make it fun for me and Kevin, because we want to see the historical things. We want to learn more about the cities we're seeing. And one day the kids will be interested in it, right? They're just too young to appreciate it yet. So that's how we make traveling fun for kids. A little bit for us, a lot for them. It's really not a little bit for us, a little bit for them. It's really a little bit for us, a lot for them. <laughs> but they're having tons of fun in the, on the playground right now. So this is how we are seeing Munich. Spielplatzen, Spielplatzen and the English Garden. <laughs> so. so after we left the English Garden, the kids started to get really hungry, which happens about every hour and a half to two hours. So we took them back to Marienplatz via the tram and got some ice cream in the town square.
Ähm, um, in einem Wuffel, zwei Kugel, Schoko und Mozart. You happy now? Yeah. <laughs> so after the kids had their ice cream, they were very tired and wanted to go back to the hostel. So Kevin took them back and I got to stay for another hour with my camera to explore the Altstadt on foot which is very easy to do in Munich with the pedestrian only streets. So in our next video, which will air on Wednesday, I will show you what I was able to see in one hour, just around Marienplatz in the Altstadt of Munich. You can see a surprising amount because Munich is so easy to navigate on foot. So stay tuned for that. We hope you really enjoyed these last two videos, seeing Munich through the eyes of a child. Of course, there are many videos you can find of tours of Munich, but seeing it through the eyes of a child, we think is really magical and beautiful. See you in the next video, guys.